Lead me aside to pure water, he restores my soul. Lead me in the path of righteousness for a minute. Yea, though I walk with the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my hand. Thou knowest my name with all, my heart runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Now we're going to have a lecture, and then after that we're going to have an offering, and we're going to turn it over to you. Amen. Lord, this is our Amen. Second Sunday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every Sunday is a celebration. We celebrated our communion Sunday last Sunday. So this Sunday is going to be another celebration. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
you man, praise the Lord. Now we're going to move and have our announcement. Amen. Yeah, our announcement. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Announcement as follows. Here we are on second Sunday. Thank you, praise the God, for our second Sunday. And we started off with our Sunday school, spiritual empowerment. Right. And our second Sunday, we got our August. The missiles are going up. The spiritual power is what we wanted to do. We wanted to go up and circulate the Sunday school lesson inside of you. And as you can see, our Sunday school lesson is talking about Shabbat Mishak and the Bendigo. If you have our coloring book, that's where you are today, August the 8th. And it's talking about Shabbat Mishak and the Bendigo, and it's telling about the power of God. Telling our children that no matter what, through the fire of all that they're going through, God is with you. And encouraging them to die in Jesus, not die in idol worship, because that's what the choice was to, to bow down to Nebuchadnezzar and his, his 90 feet tall um, statue. And they chose to go in the furnace to die in Christ. And that's what we are trying to teach our children. We try to teach everybody that. And that's what that's, that's what you were looking at at that time. Over there about the, you know, the, you know, and, and God will. That spiritual empowerment should be lifting you up in the name of Jesus. The scriptures are heaven. If you have that coloring book, the scriptures are on there. You can read that and try to lift your lift yourselves up. And now next Sunday for the uh, Sunday school, they're gonna be doing spiritual growth, and it's gonna be talking about the presence of paper. See how that you can escort that. We're gonna be doing that next Sunday. Okay, also. We, we're going to move on. We have, we have our theme, which will be strong today. Every second Sunday of the year of the month, we are doing our, our theme, a different type of theme. And our theme this time is strong. So we would like to anyone that will be ready to tell you, you forgot your straw, and somebody said they forgot their straw, but I told them they can still tell about it. Let it go if you know if you want. You can still express to us what it meant to you. You know, there's different kind of straws all around. I got three different kinds I'm gonna tell about. Go ahead, you can get started. Uh, you need a microphone, you can stand right here. Yeah, I can go ahead. Okay, next. I have a basket of straw. 
strong. And it's got beautiful flowers in it. <laughs> and so that's my strong for today. And I love strong because if you can sweep with it, yeah. you can do a whole lot of stuff with straw. So yeah, straw is so important. I remember in the country, you can use um, the farmers used to put a piece of straw in their mouth to clean the teeth. <laughs> so straw is really good. Yeah, yeah. We got straw for everything. So we thank God for the straw. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I got my hat. <laughs> yeah. Straw hat. I don't put it on the new church. But that's a straw hat. Yeah. Amen. It's a new straw. Amen. They look at for me.
So there's different means of straw. And I'm just saying what if, whatever one that you want to take to use was all right with me. Because it's a wonderful thing. I, you know, I learn about people that way. You know, we learn about each other that way. Um, once again, no, it's not the meaning of different uses. There we go. Okay. Okay, now what's the different meaning? Then once again, that goes back to what I said, you got straw going to suck the food out of, and then the other that you will eat to a horse. All right, then. Okay. Okay, so, so now we've been clarified a second time, saying the different uses yeah. of straw. Right. And the different uses of straw. But I, well, okay, the different uses of straw, but you know. But anyway, you know, straw still have different meanings when you write it in a sentence. You got who you talk to, right? <laughs> you got different meanings in a sentence, you know, because my straw, I wear this hat. This is my other hat. You know, I'm on, I'm on the award show, right? So this is my, this is my black and white straw hat. Right? Okay, and I, and I really miss that straw bag. I, I got to get me a straw bag, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get a strong bag. But anyway, I'm so great that people did participate on it. You know, we learned different things on it. And, and you know, have some fun with it. I did, I had fun with it. So, but um, I'm gonna turn it, oh, I got one more thing. I just like to, um, for a G-R-A-D-U-A-T-I-O-N, uh, so G-R-A-D-U-G-A-T-E, a graduate is what I'm trying to say. We just like to give God the glory. And we learned that in the Bible yeah. that how God, you will do it my way. You gonna do, I don't want you to go that way. We're gonna do it this way. And I thank God for that. You know, the people give up some. Yeah. And you know, the other ways you're gonna use technology, then use it to help his children. Right. And I thank and praise God for that. For our graduate, we do have, if you have anything for her, maybe not today, but if you have anything for her, then you know, you, you know, you can always give it to her, you know. And she'll be checking her um, graduation pictures uh, soon. Uh, I got, you know, she, she'll be taking those soon, so I'll be giving those out uh, to you. We just have some cards for her um, to give to her. You know, she kind of bashful, so I ain't gonna bother her. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just wanted to announce the fact that we, Mother Church Game of Peace, we do, we did have, we have a 2021 graduate this year. Yeah. We have many. And we still waiting for many more. Thank you for God for that. We know to tell that we love her, yeah. and we wish her. It's, it's not just started. Somebody's coming. It's not just started. I saw a car pull up. So it's not just started. You know, um, you going forward now. You open up another chapter of your life, a whole another chapter, chapters, I should say of your life, yes. and you're going forward in the name of Jesus. Already the press, the foundation, already yes. stacked up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Still have to, you know, do all the other stuff along with it. Yeah. So I'm thinking, praise God, because I didn't know 
was going to be in that part of that. I was just trying to get the high school thing done, you know. All right, all right. So, but I thank you, praise God for that. So we still continue to need your prayers. Yeah. And she go forward in this, because you was with me. You know how hard that it took to get this far. Yeah. You know, and I thank you, praise God for that. Thank you, yeah. and I'm going to go ahead until we finish. But now, I think we're going to be announcing this time. Okay, we're going to stand now. Men and brothers, 
children to stop from Abraham. And whosoever among you hear the law, the youth is worthy of the salvation of sin. 27. For they may well know their rulers, because they knew him not. Nor yet the voice of the prophets, which are ringing every Sabbath day. They have fulfilled them and condemned them. 28. And as though they found no call to gather in him, he had designed their father that he should be slain. 29. When they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree, laid him in the corner. 30. The God raised him from the dead. 31. He was seen in the day of the dead, who came up with him from Galilee, who are witnesses to the people. 32. And he prayed unto you, glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the Father. 33. God has filled the same unto us, the children, and that he had raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm. Thou art my son, this day have I forgotten thee. 34. And as a servant, that he raised him from the dead. Now no more to turn to the He said on this night, I will give you the sure mercy of the day. 35. Wherefore I say also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. 36. For David, that he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on the sea, and was laid in his father, and saw corruption. 37. But he, whom God raised in, saw no corruption. 38. Be known to you, therefore, men and brethren, that the Lord of this man is preaching to you the beginning of sin. 39. And by him, all that believe and justified from all things, from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. 40. He will, therefore, that that come upon you, which spoke of him in the prophet. For the one hope, we spies, the one prepared, for our work and work in your day, work that you should in no wise believe, to a man declared unto you. 42. And when the Jews were going out to the Gentiles, the Gentiles saw that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. 43. Now when the company was broken up, men of the Jews and religious proselytes, Father Paul and Father, who speak to them, persuade them to continue in the grace of God. 44. And the next Sabbath they came on the whole city together to hear the word of God. We're going to stop at the wonderful verse. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory and hallelujah. You may be seated. So now what we're going to do, amen, praise God's scripture. Now we're going to move and have our prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord. And after our prayer, amen, we're going to have a message by uh, my wife, Sister Pastor, Sister Sharon Bennett, First Lady. Then we're going to have a dismissal by my brother, Elder Timothy Bennett. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Glory and hallelujah. We're ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Before we, before we have our prayer, I think we need to think about blessing. Amen. I know I don't have church. And I don't have everything. And we forgot this month. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to my mind that now I, I'm, I'm all about the word. That's about the money. Amen.
and overall well-being. You can experience pain in your knees, your hips, and your lower back when you have ongoing problems with your feet. A lot of people didn't know that. But it shows how important feet are. Let's turn to John 13. And we're going to go to verse 1 and 17. We're going to see what Jesus had done for his disciples. Yeah. Wash your feet. Okay, this is important. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Okay, pass. okay, everybody stand and read. Okay. Verse 1 and 17. Now, before we come to when Jesus knew that the hour would come, then she walked into the Father. that you have 
to be humble. Yeah. You have to go way down. I don't care how much money you have, what kind of fancy car you got, how good a job you have, I don't care what you got. You're going to have to stoop low. Okay? Because this is what Jesus is teaching us. Let's go to thir um, John um, chapter 13, verse 8. Peter said to Jesus, go ahead and wash my hand, my head, my feet. I mean, after he found out that what Jesus said that, hey, you can't be a part of me if you can't humble yourself. That's what's going on with the world now. If we can't humble ourselves, we can't be a part of God. We cannot be a part of God. So let's go, we got past the 13 and we're going to go to 8. That's just one verse that we're going to read. We're going to go to 8. Okay, let's That's coming out of the bound. You see, God already said we don't, he don't have a part of us. And that's that's pertaining to if we can't humble ourselves. So if you can't humble yourself, you ain't got no part of God. Jesus said this. Okay? And feet washing is low. That's down to the bottom. People feel that. Well, you know, I gotta wash them people dirty feet. But that's the way it is. That's what John that's what Jesus is telling us. We have to humble ourselves. Let's look at how cleanliness is next to God. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. We're going to move fast along this passage. For us to be humble, we must be clean. We must be clean. We, you can't, if you're not humble, you can't, you don't understand the word of humbleness. You cannot be clean. Okay, that's just the, the just with the illustration that God is showing his disciples that hey, you gotta have you got your whole body. They had did wash their body, but their feet was not clean. <laughs> so what he's showing that hey, you are gonna have to wash the lowest part of your body, and that's down to the bottom, and that's the feet. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be clean. It's got to be clean. But I'm going to tell you, and you'll find out why your feet need to be really clean at the end of, of, of this message. Okay, we got um, 24. 24, let's read this. For us to humble, we must be clean. Okay, 24. No, man. Yeah, Matthew. Matthew, yeah, the 6th chapter, 24. Okay, let's read. No, no man. Man. Wash me. 
queen doodle from my handkerchief and clean me from my sin. Okay. My sin. See that? You see what the Lord's showing us? Okay. We still talking about cleaning. Clean up. Cleaning us up. That's what we need. We got to be clean. Let's go to Psalms down 51. Let's go to the verse 7. Purify me with his and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be white as snow. See how God is teaching us about clean, clean, clean. Okay, that's how we can move on after we get clean. Okay, let's go to Psalm 119, Pastor. 119. See, the feet represent, it's an example. One of the most no description tests involves the feet. Okay, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. See what it says? The word says, this shows us how the feet are used to travel. We travel with our feet. This shows the travel is left walking in darkness without a known path. Okay, your feet be going, walking, okay? That's the way you get around. Okay, where you walk is very important. Okay, all right, where are you going to walk? What walk you going to take? Which path you going to take? What the Lord is telling us? Do you have the path? Okay, we're going to we, be right here. Okay, we got 119 and we want 104. 104 all the way down. Verse 104. I want everyone to try to stand up and look at this here because this is very important. When you read this verse, okay? Okay, what did he say? No, I'm not. 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 i Because 
drinking and acting crazy with the with all that stuff going on evil. Yeah. See, you have to be careful where you walk. Okay, I'm closing now. I'm closing. Okay, in the case that our feet are not. Okay, verse uh, chapter 3 and 19. 
19. Everybody can sit if you like. I know. Um, if you, oh, okay, your strong feet. Okay. <laughs> I'm testing everybody out. Okay. Chapter 3 and verse 19. All right, 19 pounds. Okay, let's see what that says. The Lord of God is my strength. He will make my feet behind the feet. He will make me walk upon the high place. To the team on my strength. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, see what God me down, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it done. Okay, Isaiah, we got chapter 52 and verse 1. And verse 1. Y'all seem like y'all strong on your feet. Alright, that's right. 52. And let's go to 7. Yes, sir. Okay, now if anybody needs 7. Yeah. Okay, let's read that. How beautiful I bring good tidings. Now you see what God is telling us? You see what he's saying? He is how beautiful upon the mountain are the feet of him that bring good tidings. Okay? God is knowing that how beautiful it is when you walk in his way. Yes. When you carry, walk in his path. Yes. And following Jesus. You say, I decided to follow Jesus. Yes. Who is following Jesus? The feet. <laughs> the foot yes. is following Jesus. Yes. Because you know you're going in the right direction. Right. You know you're going in the right path right. when you follow Jesus. Follow okay? And that's what we teach. And that's what Jesus teach, taught us to teach us. Yeah. First, we got to cleanse ourselves. Yeah. Then we can be humble, yeah. right? We get humble. Then we can be able to understand the feet, yeah. okay? And we all know how important the feet is, and we can wash each other's feet. Yeah, yeah. that's what God did. Yeah. He, he more powerful than anything. Yeah. He, he, hey, he's the master of everything. Now, he can do Okay? See, that's why he said he showed us how to humble ourselves. But he no man is not humble enough. No. You have to humble yourself to be clean. Yeah. Okay? You got to humble yourself. If you can't humble yourself, you can't follow Jesus. He told Peter, you can't be a part of me. Uh -huh. Then Peter said, hey, watch my arm. <laughs> got to make sure that that's what's going to make our feet strong and powerful. Because see, God wants you to have a strong foundation, a powerful foundation, and the, and the foundation is our feet. Now, like I said, we're closing. Now, how then can they call on one another they have not believed in? And how can they believe in one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand that? Amen. Because if you cannot believe in Jesus to humble yourself, and to cleanse yourself. How can you go on with anything in life? How can you preach the good news of Christ if you can't humble yourself? Yeah. And if you can't cleanse yourself? And you can't be like Jesus asked you to follow him with our beautiful feet. Yeah. See, he's the one called beautiful. He's the one put the five toes there. You see? You see how he made the, made the feet? It, we, we talked about it. How many bones? 26 bones. You know, 33 joints. 100 muscles. You know, that God 
made that foundation strong. He made the feet strong. See, the, the feet carries a lot of body. He, it, it, the knees and it, it, your lower back, all that is on the feet. This whole body is on the, on the feet, the foundation. So let's carry out the good news of Christ. And let's keep our feet strong like he had created us in the beginning. Keep them strong and powerful. Yeah. And keep them going in the right path like Jesus wants us to do. Yeah. You know, we got to ask God to take care of our feet. <laughs> because we got to spread the good news yeah. of Christ. Thank you. Heal them from our yes. 